So stoked! There's like all these fans waiting to experience the house. I get to experience the house for the first time because I've just seen it in pieces, and I'm here with Troy and some other Naughty Dogs. Uh, can't wait! I think walking through with my friends uh, is going to be exciting, and see who gets scared, who screams the loudest, uh, and then just seeing all the pieces come together. Very exciting! It looks like you have someone sneaking up on you now. Excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry, I'm gonna do it again. I can do better. Excuse me. <laughs> I think he could be a scare actor. <laughs> no, probably not. He's not good enough. So speaking of, what was it like to re-record dialogue with Troy and Ashley for this maze? It was really cool. Like, I mean, this is now the third time I'm coming into the same story in a different medium. Um, so to write uh, new lines for them has been so nostalgic and, we and weird. Uh, and I think it's going to be just kind of awesome to hear their voices going through Pittsburgh. Uh, with Joel Mill. I'm still writing this high. I can't believe that The Last of Us is this popular and has these fans that are, are so passionate about it and allowing us to do this really cool thing. Without them, we wouldn't be here. Very cool. And do you have a message to the fans? Anything you want to say about the house of this year and the event, everything going on? Uh, the team worked incredibly hard on the house. It's very authentic to the game. Um, Joel and Ellie are part of it, and I, I, I'm curious to hear what, what, what they say about it. And there's more, lots of stuff after this as well. Terrified. Already. Actually, Already terrified. Have you ever been to Halloween Horror Nights? Oh, yeah. My favorite is to come here with my wife, who is what we would call a target. So the guys that come running up and go, you know, scraping down on the spark supply everything. They like zero in on her and she sends out her scream like a beacon so that all of them go around. That's very fun for you, I'm sure. <laughs> so what do you think about the house? Have you been yet? Is this gonna be your first time? Uh, I have not. I know a little bit about it because obviously Ashley and I got a chance to reprise our roles for this. So we're excited to see how that all plays. So I have the, the version of my head and I'm just really excited to see how these guys put this thing together. The one thing that if you've been a fan of The Last of Us, patience is key and it always pays off. So I'm glad that we didn't do it before. I think 10 years is the perfect way for us to celebrate. Amazing. And any message to the fans going into the event tonight from you who hasn't experienced it yet? Anything you want to say? Uh, <laughs> hold me while I cry. I think they would. <laughs> Thank you so much, Troy. Have Thank a wonderful you. time. Don't get too scared. Oh, I will be. Don't worry. <laughs> Amazing. Get too scared then. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you so much. My pleasure. <laughs> I mean, seriously, it's like I have to do like, I, I have to do like, a, you know, cleanse. <laughs> There's so many things to be excited about this year. Everything we're trying to do is to raise the level, uh, take it to the next level. Um, I'm really excited for Stranger Things season four. Uh, when I saw that show from the very first minute, from the very first episode, I knew it was made to be a house in Halloween Horror Nights. So we're thrilled to bring that to life. I'm also really excited about The Last of Us. This is the first time ever that we've brought a video game to life at Halloween Horror Nights. Uh, I'm also excited about Chucky. Chucky's ultimate kill count. Uh, he's hijacked his own haunted house here at Halloween Horror Nights. He's raised an army of good guy dolls with the idea of creating the ultimate kill count by killing every single person who sets foot inside. Uh, we have a brand new movie called The Exorcist Believer, which is coming out in theaters this October, but you can see it now at Halloween Horror Nights. So we're kind of like the ultimate trailer for that film. And of course the Universal Classic Monsters. Uh, this is our fifth iteration of the Universal Classic Monsters, and this time we're bringing all the characters from our silent films to life, like Hunchback of Notre Dame, which just celebrated its 100th anniversary, The Phantom of the Opera, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. So uh, I'm just excited for the fans to see it all.
Okay, we need the life.